Hey everyone, Carol Brakeville. Let's talk about thumbnails for YouTube. What is a thumbnail? It's that image that represents your video and it's what's going to grab people and viewers. The thumbnails that are used on YouTube, they have to be attractive. They have to get the viewer's attention. And views count on YouTube, so your thumbnails play a very important role. For a YouTuber, a successful preview image is the best way to gain clicks, views, and even possibly new subscribers. I'm going to show you how to do this using Google Slides. You want to first log into your Google account, go to the nine point grid, lovingly called the waffle. The size for your thumbnail should be 720 pixels deep and 1280 pixels wide. So how do you do this in Google Slides? How do you get a custom size? What you want to do once you've logged into your Google Slides account, you want to go to the file menu and go down to where it says page setup. Page setup, you have four options and the bottom one's custom. When you're in the custom, you select the drop down where it says inches and you go down the pixels. I've already filled in the size, but this is where you would put your pixel width and select apply. That's it. That's how you get the size for your thumbnail. This is the final that I'm going to put for this video. And how did I get here? Well, you want to choose a background. When you go to the icon menu where it says background, this is where you could choose an image if you want an image for your background, or you can change the color. When you look at the colors, you just don't have solid colors. You can also choose a gradient color. You can also come over to where it says custom and select custom. And here's where you can slide and look, look for the color that you like. Up at the top here, hex, if you have a hex color, you can fill that in and it will take that information and make that your background color. Now you have to think about the text that you're gonna put in your thumbnail. You don't have to make it very long. It just has to be a short synopsis of what your video is about. And when you put text, you wanna think about the font and the color. When you look at the icon menu, here's the text box. When you have a text box, you can do things such as change the color of the text box, also making it a gradient. You can give it a line stroke around it, choosing one of their default sizes. You can change the stroke of your box. And here's the fonts that you can choose. You have different fonts here, but when you go to more fonts, now you have up to 880 fonts to choose from. But you don't want to have it a font that isn't legible. You want to make sure that it's easy to read. Your next step is to look for images if you're going to put images on your thumbnail. Maybe you want to take a snapshot from your video and use that as an image. Or all you have to do is go to insert, select images, and search the web. When you search the web, the images that come up are not copywritten images. And when you select an image, put insert, and it will place that image for you within your Google slide. When you select that image, you also have format options. Some of the things that you can do with format option besides the size, rotation, and adjustments, you can change the transparency. You can also give it a drop shadow. And with the drop shadow, you can take the distance of the shadow further away, and you can change the angle of that drop shadow. And lastly, in the format options, you can reflect, and reflecting puts a small little image underneath of the image that you have selected. So play around with Google Slides. Not only can you add text images, when you look at the icon menu, you can add different shapes. My favorite thing about Google Slides, I think it's the closest to a layout program. What makes it a layout program means that you can take any of the images and place them wherever you want. When you have that image selected and you right click on it, you can change the order and bring it to front. You can bring the front change the order, send it to back. When you have a lot of images, select it. You can also right click and you can group those images. And the final step that I wanna show you after you have your design, what you're looking for, you wanna to come to the file menu and you wanna select download. Download it as either a JPEG or a ping. So next time you're making a YouTube video, think about using Google Slides to create a nice custom eye-catching thumbnail. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, everyone.